All right, hello everyone. I'm BVG Hill. Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2. So here we are, picking up where we left off. I didn't stop recording last time. Now we just need to talk to Samara to finish off helping her, because we did a lot of work for her. We helped her kill her one of her daughters, who's an ardent Yakshi. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Um... Don't know if that's a good thing. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. I mean, I guess that's true. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster. I guess. She was still Good young. grief. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I kind am of... so proud of her, Shepard kind of respectful in a way killed her for being what she was and I would again but I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight mm. do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40 I do not know human years well but it is very young for a sorry very young for a sorry because when you met Liara at the beginning of Mass Effect 1 she said she was a little over 100 and she was still considered almost considered a child you do now that Morinth is gone. Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardatyakshi. Prevention. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. Maybe. I thought Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Right. Morinth claimed mm -hmm. that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. Right. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my home world and tried to start a family. Oh, we knew that. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. Don't be fatalistic. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you right well thanks for that honestly um, it's good having you on board we always need we could always go for another badass on board we don't have quite enough of them yet I'm trying to collect every badass in the galaxy if possible all right let's check it out here who are we gonna help next let's back out here um, I want to get all the loyalty missions done before we do any, like, side stuff. Well, this is considered side stuff, but it's really important side stuff. But before we do, like, any of the DLCs or, or whatever, I want to make sure that everybody is on board and at 110% before we do any non-important stuff. La la la. Oh, oh, oh. 2175. Ay, 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 How do you say that? I, I don't know. Ay, an Named after an Asari scientist, this remote planet appears to have been on the list of forbidden mass relays that led to uncharted space. The little data available comes from one far off probe flyby that reports two planets orbiting a white dwarf star. Your own scans yield far more interesting results. The planet is within the habitable zone of the star and has oceans of liquid water and a thin nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere consistent with carbon-based plant life. 
and it's possible this is an as yet unexplored garden world. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Right. I guess I'm gonna scan this real quick, so bear with me, I'll be back in a moment. Oh. Shit. Okay, well, <laughs> in scanning for resources, the uh, anomaly detected by Edie was uh, right on top of an element, po element zero pocket, so here we go. I figured I might as well scan the place because it was a rich planet. And you can always use more resources. More resources means more upgrades, right? So, might as well. But, anyways, here we are. We're helping out Jacob. But here we are. On some strange, unexplored alien world that could possibly be inhabitable. Or habitable by humans. This kind of stuff fascinates the hell out of me. Imagine being the first person, or one of the first people, to step foot on an alien planet and not need a space suit. Like the first person to step on a planet like this. And mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but incredible. It would be incredible. Ten years, didn't you say, Jacob? Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Maybe they did. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Mm. Just them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it is. Ah. Uh. Right. You know, this place would, looks like it would almost be relaxing if it wasn't for the fact that they crash-landed here. Partial crew log. Let's hear it. Uh-huh. It's all very cryptic. Cryptic missing bits. Let's hack this PA, P, PDA. Got it. Dun 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 dun. Let's hear it. What's up? These computers, they don't really look like what you'd expect computers to look like in the future. I mean, sure, they look futuristic, but they're kind of huge and clunky, aren't they? For over a hundred years in the future? I think they are, at least. Who has to hurry? People coming to rescue you? Why didn't they send out a distress beacon a lot sooner? That's what you guys should all be asking yourselves. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Oh, that sounds promising. But this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural Unsafe decay. deceleration. Protocols. Fancy way of saying 
Crash. <laughs> Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. Another First fancy way of Ronald saying Taylor crash. Promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. How many is several? I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback crash. made an unscheduled descent at crash. 165% of theoretical recommended sub It's a lot of percents. The Hugo a lot of percents, man. Accelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. It's a lot of percents again, probably because it's smacked into the ground or the ocean or some shit. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Right. Why Why this take so long? Now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as... Record, record deleted. deleted. Convenient. Conveniently deleted. All right. Come on, let's get going. My father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. Highly. Hello? You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Uh, calm down. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's... Our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were they were cast out. He exiled them. So they uh, hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue. Get down. Hit the deck. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them. Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Gear up! <clears throat> Okay, sure. Oh boy. This is gonna be a good one. I can feel it. Okay, get down before I die. Shit. Agents of the liar. Is the liar the leader? Boom, dead. Oh my god, there's a lot of you bastards, aren't there? Sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby. This will put them down. Sweet baby. Alright. All right, heal up, and then we're gonna make a run for the cover in front of us. Uh... We need to get a little bit closer so that this gun's a little more effective, like that. That wasn't neural decay; they were feral. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Talk to me. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight. How many people were on that ship? She's lost it. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. I mean, it's a it's a pretty big ship, but. I'd assume quite a substantial amount of you have passed since the crash landing. It'd be really brutal, especially living the cushy lifestyle of the future and suddenly getting thrust into a situation where you have nothing. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those mm. hunters must be laying on the pressure. Ooh. Is that a settlement? A settlement. They it's exactly what it is. Beach group. I need answers. 
how the uh, shooty shooty guys sneak around this settlement. It seems to be fairly linear. I don't know. Must have just ran through. Hello? Everyone? They're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. Except they're all there female. Men here. <clears throat> Maybe it affects genders differently. It makes males get violent. It's all that testosterone. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. <laughs> you heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Oh boy. It's a bad sign. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. Uh-huh. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Um. He keeps us. Protects us. And we please him like he demands. What the hell? Oh, boy. Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Things are not looking great here, guys. Um, just want to point that out. You know, if I'm being honest, things could be a lot better. Um... Oh, hi. Take cover, please. Fire into the crowd, baby. It'll work out fantastically. Patrols like that are a little much against this. Bar. Sorry, miss. Well, that would make them hate him. Or maybe it was just for Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. What is it? Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Doesn't explain ten years. It does sound like he it cracked, though. Command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle toys in a year all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead they separated out the women assigned them to officers like pets Jesus After the beacon is fixed the officers appear in the casualties too after my father took control and didn't stop it oh boy anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated nothing but it seems like the right call if everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. True. Did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Yep. He started his own kingdom. Does it say why he separated dictatorship? Or Took advantage of everyone. Seems... No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard. I don't see any justification. Probably because there isn't any. Officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Right. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. I need to look him in his eyes and tell him he's a bastard.
Tell him he's a bastard. Um, it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode this time, but I think I'm going to end this here because um, we got quite a bit left of this, and I want to make sure the ep next episode has a little bit of meat on its bones. You know what I mean? So, as usual, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit the subscribe button that's also down below for more content from me. And uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last but most certainly not least, if this video just blew your mind, then most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street or the internet, whatever floats your boat. And I will see all of you in the next one. See you later.